Vice President and Flag Bearer of the New Patriotic Party, Mr. Chairman, Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests, Friends of the Media, Chief Executives, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is a great honor to join you all in, at this important event. It is indeed a joyful and a destiny-defining moment when we each affirm female porters and make them know that it is possible for them to embrace something new and bigger. The District Assembly's Common Fund requires that need assessments form an important criteria for the judicious allocation of funds. Through the fund, there have been significant infrastructural developments and support for vulnerable groups across the country, such as persons with disability, lepers, and now Kayaye. While there are myriad challenges and needs there is no doubt that the plight of Kayaye is one of the most registered plights and over the decades, and no one has done anything about it. We have all been to the market. Tode biya na jo na obi akwatu no mo na be biom beda ye din malaria any typhoid afrafra e de wo won tem de biya ye nyina ye hu won mo ni aye won ba bai da wo pe won ma sem no na wa che won sika kakra and so the plight of the kayaye is still there ladies and gentlemen it took one man one man to reach the District Assembly's Common Fund on this issue. Dr. Mohamed Baumia called me one day after his interaction with the Kayayes at Agboboloshi. And the way he passionately put the issue before me, I felt ashamed. What have I, a mother, a sister, a daughter, what have I been doing all these years? What have you my mother who by the horn and began to look for land. We started with Agbobuloshi and started building. At the time we had a couple of problems, but now by the grace of God, it's all been ironed out. In total, we're going to build about eight of these resources in Accra, in Bono, Techiman. And that is going to be the first and second phases. After that, we're going to do more. We're not only going to build something and fold our hands, no. DSCF is going to support this venture all the way through. Every year, they're going to take their blood test, their blood work, all 600 of them, 300 in each. And when we have eight, that is going to be 2,400 of them. We know that is not all, but that is the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Greater Accra Region for helping us in this venture. And also, Mrs. Felnick Construction Limited and Eddie Hongs, who are the contractors who made sure that this vision was realized. Coming up with the, with the drawings, Architectural drawing was not easy. Although the whole thing looks very easy, we had to take so much into consideration. And every time His Excellency, the Vice President, wanted to know what facilities we had in, whether they will be able to have light, whether there will be funds in there, whether there is good sanitation, whether there is, I mean, every day this man was talking about the Kayaye project. It is only right that all of us here present help to thank His Excellency Dr. Baumia. The people of Ghana thank you. It doesn't matter that today you are not a Kayaye. Don't say that it doesn't concern you. A man who shows so much love to the less 
endowed in the society, the vulnerable in the society, like the Kayalis, the lepers, the persons with disability and the like, is also going to show you love when it is your time. Standing now on these existing protocols, I would like all of you to help me with a standing ovation. Well, we didn't think it was. The man that God has called onto the next stage, Dr. Baumia, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. The Greater Accra Regional Minister, Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protect Protection, and MP for Kwaikwe South, Honorable Dakwa Newman, the Minister of State, for the Ministry of Local Government and Decentralization. MP, Honorable Obi Amor. The Court District Assembly Common Fund Coordinator, Arina Toshi Adulati. CEO of NAIP, Kufio Fosun Cancer. Our Greater Accra Regional Chairman of the MPP, Honorable Divine Agohum, CEO at GEA, um, Kozi Yankee, CEO of TVET, Mausi Awiti. Freda Samoa, CEO of CTVET, distinguished members of the press, traditional leaders, the clergy, our imams. I greet all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. It is an honor and a privilege and a great pleasure to be here today for the commissioning of these hostels and skills training centers for the Kayaye and the whole program to empower the Kayaye. It has been a long time in coming. The Kayaye phenomenon is not new in Ghana. It's been there for many, many, many years. After looking at the plight of the Kayaye, in 2019, when I visited Agbogoloshi, I made a promise on behalf of government that we would look at trying to address the Kaye phenomenon by making sure we could build hostels for them and offer them some training so that they could have alternative skills to engage in other productive activities. When I made this promise on behalf of government, there were many who thought it was not a realistic promise. They thought it was not possible. They said it was a 419 scheme. But I knew that inshallah, it was possible for us to do it. We had COVID in 2020 and we had to recover from it. I subsequently called the administrator of the District Assembly Common Fund, Honorable Irina Toshi 
Adu. I told her that we needed to do something and I needed her help. After I presented my case, she said, I am going to help. I will do everything I can to help to make this possible. And this was the beginning of the process. A society that does not take care of its poor, of its vulnerable, is not a good society. And therefore you will see that since we came into government, we have been thinking very much about how to take care of the poor and the vulnerable amongst us. Different programs by our government have been initiated to take care of the poor. We have looked at how to help the lepers. I am a patron for the lepers aid. We've looked at how to help the street children. We've looked at how to help persons with disabilities our brothers and sisters in the Zungo communities. We have brought about programs through the Zungo Development Fund to help them. We have looked at how to help sickle cell sufferers by bringing a very expensive drug, hydroxyurea, under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We have looked at how to help children who suffer from cancer by bringing childhood cancer under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We have looked at how to help poor parents who cannot afford school fees by bringing about free senior high school education. And so what we are doing for Kaya is today is part of a whole program of activity of our government to help the poor and the vulnerable. And so you will see why it gives me so much pleasure to be with you today at the launch of the Kaya Empowerment Program. We have proven the naysayers wrong. I am honored to be part of this initiative and which is dedicated to empowering headquarters and offering transitional job pathways and enhancing their socioeconomic status. It is a cause, as I have told you, close to my heart as it addresses the plight of a marginalized segment of our society. This noble endeavor resonates profoundly with the core values of our mission as it squarely addresses the pressing needs of a marginalized segment of our society that has long been relegated to the shadows of neglect and indifference. As it has been said, we have over 100,000 headquarters or Kaya in Ghana who endure unimaginable hardships such as lack of shelter, inadequate medical care, and harassment in urban centers on a daily basis. From the harsh realities of homelessness to the glaring deficiencies in access to adequate health care, and the pervasive scourge of harassment, their plight stands as a stark testament to the moral imperative of urgent intervention to uplift and transform their lives. Through the collaborative efforts and strategic partnerships forged between government agencies, private enterprises, and esteemed civil society organizations such as the Ghana Enterprises Agency, the NEIP, the YEA, CTVET, 
GET Fund, TVET, District Assemblies Common Fund, the Father Campbell Foundation, BEST, and the Ghana National Gas Company, and BOST. The Kaye Empowerment Program has been meticulously conceived and crafted to provide holistic and sustainable economic empowerment to these resilient young women. This multifaceted program is characterized by a rigorous and exhaustive recruitment process culminating in the selection of initial training cohorts comprising 5,000 headquarters. Over the span of three weeks, participants will be immersed in a transformative learning experience, encompassing essential modules such as baking and beading, supplemented by invaluable soft skills training in personal health care, financial management, and entrepreneurial acumen. Crucially, the provision of post-training support and implementation of a track and trace model serves as the linchpin of the program's efficacy with participants receiving starter packs tailored to facilitate their seamless integration into new economic opportunities and further ensure the beneficiaries do not return to being headquarters. This unwavering commitment to ongoing support is buttressed by a robust framework of continuous monitoring and evaluation, ensuring dynamic program enhancement and personalized assistance for further education and entrepreneurial endeavors. The program's infrastructure boasts the establishment currently of two hostels. Other hostels are under construction in the Ashanti region and the Bono East region. Each meticulously designed to accommodate and cater to the needs of 300 girls. The hostels are equipped with modern training facilities, sanitary washrooms, bathing areas, and exemplify our unwavering commitment to safeguarding the dignity and well-being of all participants. With an overarching goal to empower Kayaye across Ghana. Furthermore, we are in talks to provide them also with ICT training. These partnerships will further expand horizons of the Kaye Empowerment Program, offering even more avenues for skills development and economic empowerment. Expectations are rightfully high, with curriculum development meticulously aligned with industry standards the deployment of highly competent trainers and instructors, the provision of adequate facilities, seamless collaboration with relevant industries, the implementation of robust assessment systems, and the provision of essential supportive measures such as starter packs and internship places. As we embark on this transformative journey, let us collectively pledge our unwavering commitment and solidarity to ensure the resounding success of the Kaye Empowerment Program. United by the resolute belief that it is possible, let us stand as beacons of hope, breaking down barriers, forging new pathways, and charting a brighter, more inclusive future for all. Together, we can and we will take a bold solution that will bring a profound and lasting difference. 
My special thanks go to Irene Natoshi Adu, the administrator of the District Assembly Common Fund, for her commitment to this program. She was very, very critical. Special thanks also go to the CEOs of the YEA, the NEIP, the GTVET, CTVET, Get Fund, the GEA, and others who have contributed. My thanks also go to Ajara, Ajia Azara Harun and her team, Father Campbell and his team for all their commitment and hard work to making today possible. Mabisi Yebeni, Chidabai, Nia Tuma Tuma, Oi Zulawana, the Nagmanya Sam, Little Zuk Sungo, Little Zuk Sungo, Manda Yalia, Nitia, Nila, Yia, Ayaka, Mare, Shelian, and Doni, Ingisi, Kabang Situma, Little Panda Yan and Dukunani. Kanyana Yemang ni na un yukuni dini nani Zunawa Zunawa Dinania Na un yukuni Tibia Chempahi Tukuya Maran Sungni Yani N Sungni Yani N Malan Sungniya Katiza Chanu Tuni Tia Chakaya Yala Tuma Mbansu Tuma Yila Maria Mamang Nusu Tuma N Jihriya Bisi Kapa bacaan sukuti, kaya mangan mangan neng lelakri, neng hasilki, kasi zaman suni. Juzu, yari caka yat buri neng sila, suacanan taki ya hankal, iya ledeng wakun ane, wai iya ledu kuna iya ku iya lema, ledu nene, it is possible, tiya neng ne kadu tun. Pam, salamu alaikum, arahmatullahi taala barakatu. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to introduce the parliamentary candidate for the La Nkwantanam Matina constituency, Okum Kwam Robert Lamte. He is your PC. Support him. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vice President Flagbera. Yamashofu ina kwa ba Edward Amisi TV. Yes, and then yabe PM o Madina mbonte so na Madina no ena oche nice building bi na isi Madina maintain wa na kofu bisha so building way yade ba yaden ena nde na kopo ato puma kwem ema eh the Vice President of Ghana the facility ya eh TV eh for NAD and Mbai meant by Kaya Yi Kaya Yi Mbai person. President of Ghana, uh, Vice President of Ghana, HSCS, years ago, or promise or your promise be a Wabush marketer, or just okay, or so sit down at the Makaye for. Now, I don't know, say Makaye for, and a mobile and a adding a war, Madina, and Bontin, so and then a mobiano, but this a dino, and then a mobiano, Ama, a Ama Kaye for Nina, to the Vice President of Ghana, and the Oha, or Baby Biano, but this. A facility way meant by Kaye for by a far in a part three thousand. Okay, almost a yeah, the amount for video now. Obeti a monsem about vice president of Ghana at Casa will be a or day contract in HS. Okay, even the Kaye for Nina will be a babiano or be a juma obe obe swing jumana. You bet your car now. Some of free accommodations way as some of the free building. I almost say a funny part five fifty thousand. On this guy, a dine on this. I'm Mr. Tim. You can say Vice President, but no, but the commission a dine on the Amaya. Oh, yeah, 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 Thank <laughs> you.
The vice president of Ghana, it is possible. The flag bearer of the MPP, the new patriotic party, NLB Pimoha, uh -huh. and our partner. one of them, the promise of make here on 2022. And then uh, the success has come true. In but yes, 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 and the vice president and Kasawaha, yes, why are you ready to take the, the kind of say, scissors to commission one of the promise, one of the promise I will make here. On yes, ah, I so. And now we are here at the center, the beautiful elephants that our mama has shot that we have today. And with us is a contractor who has done a beautiful work, a beautiful engineer. At this point, I'll give it to her to tell us. What they have done. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is a four story structure. On the ground floor, we have training centers with a capacity of 140. We also have an infirmary, we have washrooms, and then a the pantry. On the first floor, we have two number training centers again. Each has a capacity of 60, so a total of 120. We have a number of offices on the first floor. Then on the second floor, we have two number dormitory facilities. Each one takes 38 people. So, and on the, on the third floor too, we have another two number dormitory facility. So in all, the dormitory facility takes about 152 people. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. At this point, we will do the official tape cutting and then we will do a tour of the facility. Thank you. We cut this tape in the name of God Almighty. We pray that all the activities that take place in this post and training center are blessed by God Almighty and all the beneficiaries come out with good skills and go on to do their own businesses and prosper for the benefit of Ghana. Amen. Yeah, he'll go up. Yeah. No, the steps.
quality is low. Oko oko ho wanda san. Only good afternoon. So from there, now we come here. No, no, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, no, 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 For their health needs, right, everything you. is here. Thank you. 